uh, right here. And we are starting today's episode off in space. Now, I did a bit of off-camera grinding. And I went to, uh, Glacio, or Glacio, whatever it is. Um, and, uh, I found that these, um, like, the research pods, but that that take ammonium to open give you something like 7500 bytes if you research them so i went there and got like five or six of them and i decided to do something which we'll have to get a, which will i'll show you guys in a later episode unless i have to go back to glacial which i don't plan to well, at least in this episode and if i do i'm gonna cut out the glacial parts Anyway, go on base, come around. Ah, uh, man. There it is. There's all our tethers that are not powered because we have the oxygenator. Exit the craft. Grab you. Put you back in the base, of course. Um, yeah. So as you can see, my backpack is full of um, research items. I found a small oxygen tank lying around. But I did make it so I can find the thing again. I put a landing pad at my base. Uh, at the secret and a beacon there so I can land there but yeah so the reason I'm getting all these bites again is because I want to be able to build some RTDGs okay you can't research a box obviously I was going to try and unpack it in there uh, what are you worth I want to know because I found a couple on the ground your 8300 bytes. Yes, please. These do take a long time to research, but they are worth it. So, yeah. I. Yeah. So, we also need to unlock the atmospheric condenser. I brought some iron back for that. Uh, and then we need quartz, and how much is one plastic? Uh, you, uh, one carbon and one compound. Carbon, easy. Compound, easy. Carbon's literally just refined, um, organic. Okay, we got one. Don't know if I have any compound lying around, so I'll go grab one. Yeah. Mm. I think that was our, yeah, that was our resin, so this is our co compound deposit. A compound. Now all I need to do is refine the quartz. Um, yeah. You know what? Another thing I need is a splitter because I want to be able to like take all the incoming power from the base, or actually no, just from the solar thing, and just be able to send it directly to the uh, thing here. That requires me to realign the base. So. Anyway, that's um. Get you in the smelter. As well as you. So, if 
I remember correctly, an RTG is, um, is a medium sized thing. RTG, yeah. See, 1200, 12,500 bytes. That's a lot. And we also need splitters, which is copper, copper and graphite. But I don't think I want to uh, redo the base just yet, because of all this. Okay, let's uh, dump all these boxes here. find that uh yeah so i will come back once we have uh yeah got the thing built that we need down the circuit so i'm just waiting for that platform to finally print and we can get this bad boy installed the atmosphere condenser basically what it does is it pumps gases out of the air and then turns them and puts them in a little canister, which we can then use on this, as there is a little, uh, slot right there for, uh, gas. Making more res advanced resources like nanocarbon alloy, which, yeah, which you need nanocarbon alloy to make an RTG. It's kind of stupid, but... Yeah, you need it, so. Put you there, and pack it. Now it's grounded. I want that side facing this way, I believe. Yep. And now we can pull hydrogen out of the air and nitrogen. Yeah, so I, I may as well tell you guys what we're doing. We are going to, um, we need RTGs obviously, but on Glacio, um, I was originally just going for some hematite to get some iron for an atmosphere condenser. And then I remember there's research pods there, and then, then bites came to mind, and then I, like I, re and then I made a base there because I was um, well I needed to make a beacon and a landing pad so I could land back there and remember my spot because I found a nice big cave. And then one thing led to another, and now I have a huge base there, but it's powered off wind so. It's kind of terrible. So I'm going to um, unlock the RTGs first, and then I'm going to move the entire base to uh, Glacio. Oh, everything that I don't already have on Glacio, anyways. Like, yeah. I also want to um, unlock the large shuttle. So, yeah. I will come back to you guys once I have, um, all the bites to get both the large shuttle and the RTG going. And I'll also gather some resources for it in the meantime. For now, uh, I'll see you in a couple of hours. So, just a quick update, guys. It's been about an hour <coughs> and a half since I last made a clip, but... We will no longer be eating this because we got a large shuttle printing. Anyways, I'll uh, see you guys once I have those, um, oh, all the materials for those things that we need. And just another quick update, we are unlocking the RTG. And we are very close to crafting it. See you when we can actually craft it. So I'm just gathering helium real quick, and I saw another one of these orbs on Atrox. Uh, I 
don't know what they're for. But I just randomly spotted one, so. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you once I've done getting all the, the rest of the gases. And after the better part of a day getting bites, making rocket ships, getting resources, we now have four in it, enough for four RTGs. I want to call them RNGs, but they're RTGs. Anyway. Here it is. Our first RTG. This is gonna be so helpful. But guess what? This is not for our base here. I'm yeah. So two of our RTGs are made for no. I swear though I'm nanocarbon alloy is the most annoying thing to get. Anyways, I will have these made and we will uh pack everything that we need from the base up and we're gonna move. But this is probably the last recording for today as uh, I've been record, I've been working on this game since probably nine or 11 in the morning. Almost 12 p.m. But yeah. So yeah, I will see you guys on the flip side when I have all the packagers made, and yeah, see you then. This is the next day, and we have packed the first rocket to launch and go to our glacier base. I will then go and unpack everything, get it set up, and show you guys the finalized bit. Anyways, yeah, see you then. So, everything I want from our base on Silva is, uh, taken. So, yeah, I will go dump the rest of the stuff off at the base on Glacio, and I'll have it assembled. Yeah, I'll see you guys in another little bit here. Okay, we finally moved into our base on Glacio. I selected this nice flat spot in the mountains. So I found a whole ton of wind power lying around, so I got those going in. So this is our air and oxygen area, because we have the oxygen heater over here. Um, so we got wind power from here, um, and then I found like four working medium wind turbines sitting around. Then we got our four brand new RTDs. Uh, we got our four solar generators. Uh, our medium generator and two small generators. I, I don't need a lot of them, but I just have to do it because I got them. And then over here we got our scientific area. So I gave it a bit of an upgrade. So, chemistry lab, we got it. So, um, this has these two here. So basically, when I, th this planet only has a motor going, and it, but it's 100 feet. So if I ever want a butt ton of argon, um, all I have to do is plant it, and then it'll store it on here. So this is just large platform views. Um, this still got the soil center huge. I upgraded this too because I can put like I can take this off, fill it with raw resources, set it down, and then it'll take all the raw resources, refine them, and put them back on. I can do it with this one too. Then we have our omega printing platform. Which is the large, medium, and small pieces, plus we have the one in our back Um, and then we have the research unit, but I have this splitter here, so I can split all the power going from one to another. 
So if I wanted to research something, I would split all the power that way. If I wanted to research something and work, then I would just split it about 50 50. So yeah, this is our new base of operations. And yeah, so then we got our storage. Which this is all refined stuff. We got two big storage things for that. And we got unrefined stuff, which is one for that tower. Like regular resources and unrefined. And we got like our gases and then we got our miscellaneous. So yeah, miscellaneous would be like the Jasper Queen we found in a cave. Or like the research items I originally pulled from the glacio. Or like a small canister or a couple small canisters or power cells. Or a dynamite that I found lying around, which we will play with. Um small battery that I found that I don't need. Or like even just little research samples like that. But I think I'm gonna get some research started because I might need it for next episode. If I'm right. Now I forgot how many clips I've made on this video. I need to actually go check that. This, yeah. So I will uh, go check that and I'll come back if uh, it's not really me. So I am back after checking. I only have about 11 minutes or the so, yeah, we're gonna get some work done. Starting with renovation stuff. So, yeah, also over here we have a couple of solid fuel filters. First thing I'm going to do, actually, other than unlocking the oxygen here, I want to unlock the hydrazine thruster. It is one tungsten and one steel, but I think that's a working stack on it. So we will do that, and we will go make one of those, because I have actually have to use the hydrogen tester. So, yeah, we I already have pre-refined resources, a lot of it being tungsten. Uh, steel, steel is. Steel would be at the chemistry station, I think. Yeah, we'll Iron, carbon, and argon. I have more than enough argon. There's uh, um, hematite right there. And I have a thing of carbon over here, so I think I already have iron. We'll check that. Yeah, we do. Iron, got carbon, and let me just grab some argon. And we will go put this in the machine. I'm loving this new base so far. Oh yeah, I forgot to cut the power. Um, yeah, it turns out I can split it 50 50 and the whole entire base is uh, more per preferable to power. Let me just change the outputs here. Okay, now we should be able to, um, I don't even think I need the splitter, but I just have it in the case I put in my like, research things. Because I probably will put in like a couple of The steel, tungsten. We should be good to print one off. I believe it's on the printer. Uh, I just need the rest of the time. Other than that, we need to get the Oh, you look like you actually. I mean, I know that you need to take care of yourself. I don't know how to call this my use of it. That's so good. Looks like it can hold up to three canisters of hydrogen. Um, luckily this planet is more than well supplemented with um 
so I will gladly go grab some. Though I might have to go on a trip and grab some, uh, like, resources. Like, um, at least some gases. <clears throat> I believe there was a thing that was in the menu. I'm sorry if my voice is a little froggy. I just want to start. Compound. Now what am I? Ah, there's the engineering deposit. We need Like we also got a lot of stuff, the scrap here, so I, I will get some scrappers put in probably in this episode if we do the searching, but it's already taking me a day and a half to record this episode up to this point. Hydrogen into it. Do we have any hydrogen on our gas storage? I don't we do because I don't really keep watching them. Helium, argon, helium, argon, hydrogen. And a couple a few of it. So we should be good on that. There should be enough to make three hydrogen. I'm going to go pump more out of the Yeah, so I finally got a pit of despair thing cleaned up. I took all the resources out of it that were useful. And yeah. And the reason I'm not refining that quartz is because you can make stuff like beacons with quartz, so I'm not going to. Try out the side of the I brought the small shuttle with me, just as kind of a little bit. Um, yeah, so we got this thing. I'm not going to hook a generator up to it as I left some large platforms back on my base as well. And the base has an RTG which can power this. Not too very worried, I'm just going to let it pump the whole time out. But yeah. 
I'm sure let's try this restaurant. Oh yeah, <laughs> before we forget the oxygen. We're gonna need it in case we use the tether system on it. Yeah, let's go try this one. I just have a minor interruption there. super cheap we're gonna mass make this stuff and just have a giant fuel rod area or whatever silver see how I only used one quarter of a tank to get the silver I can get the four different planets on one can of hydrazine this is illegal I wish I had known about these thrusters a long time ago. Cause now I'm feeling stupid. Yeah, I just realized I probably should have brought one of those storage rods, but we don't need that much hydrogen as one makes a whole can of hydrazine. Though I will fill up one of those giant titanium rods. So I'll need five cans, maybe? I know my, ba this isn't my home anymore, but the, the base should still work. Yeah, right there. Cause I didn't, I'm not taking the shelter and leaving it there. Cause I do need hydrogen and nitrogen and it's a good fuel source. For when I don't wanna, you know. Oh, got some lag there. I left this place bare bones stripped. I can probably put it there. And the hilarious thing is, this shelter has its own RTG on it. So let's uh, start pumping out the hydrogen. Yeah, it's hydrogen or else it wouldn't be hydrogen. Right? Anyways, I'll come back once I have my five cans pumped. And now that we got all the hydrogen pumped, it is, um, I took a few breaks and went a few places in between scenes again. So it is now Monday, whereas I started recording this Friday. But we got all five canisters of hydrogen and I mined a bit of laterite because I know we are a little scarce on that at home. But we are going to make lots of hydrazine, so we probably never have to make it again. Or at least for a very long time. But this hydrazine, thrust, hydrazine thruster makes me wish I knew about it, like, the first thing in the game. Anyways, let's head back to Alicio. So yeah, we got three canisters of hydrous. I mean, for you guys, you know, but I literally just remembered what I was doing. I was pumping hydrogen to make hydrazine for the stressor. But luckily, we live on a planet it holds with hydrazine. Or ammonia. And we have more. Shoot, I meant to not launch that. Pretty please. I accidentally launched it, so.
So yeah, um, I'm gonna gather a whole ton of ammonium, and I'll see you once I've done that because ammonium gathering gets boring. Yeah, see you then. Scratch that, it was actually pretty satisfying considering I got in like a minute of digging. Anyway, this is the first hydrazine of the hydrogen can. This thing gets so much power, it can literally. Like, it's just that good. Yes, it does have a power struggle when I turn it on, but it's still over half, so it runs more than normal. I think it all may also be because I have the RTG. I think I think I think I have it set to about 50/50. Yeah, but <clears throat> yeah. So that's number two. I'm just doing, or doing that so I can research scrappers. Or shredders, I should say. Oh, I'll unlock that one. I'll unlock that as well. Ooh, what's the EXO request platform? I'll unlock it too, because I don't care. Extra large shredder, 5,000 bytes, two tungsten carbide, that's a little much, and two steel. Yeah. That's three. Um, oh, we're out of hydrogen? What? Oh, we need one more ammonium, of course. Uh, of course. Well, luckily, my friend, I have one sword right here. So, no gain, no loss. Actually, no game, but loss. Uh, okay, this is our fifth tank of hydrazine. We're probably going to be able to go to a million planets by now, but I want to fill up one of these medium storage rods with hydrazine. So, yeah. I'll go gather some more ammonium. Probably on camera this time, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go grab some ammonium. I'll just fill up, because I forgot I had ammonium on here, so I'm just gonna fill my backpack up with some of the stuff I already have. So that's already three down. We only need seven. Oh yeah, and I also moved the oxygen tank over to that thing because I need room for the ammonium in my backpack. Uh, do do. I believe there was an ammonium deposit this way. Yep, that's the one I mined out. There's still bits there, which should be more than enough, but that's one, two, three, four, Seven. 
Let's head back as we now have reached seven or ten ammonium plus extras. I got one extra. I'll just throw it back on the thingy measure either. And we'll start making some more hydrazine. And after making a whole ton of hydrazine, making another one of these storage things and a platform, we made so much hydrazine. So much so, in fact. We filled the entire rod and then we had an extra canister, so I put it there. But for now, guys, I want to thank you for watching this episode. I found these fireworks in a cave. I hope you jo enjoyed, and goodbye!